Can I fight better than the Sith Assassin, Darth Maul? The year was 1999, and fans of the Star Wars movies were rushing to theatres to see the first of the prequel trilogy, The Phantom Menace. Fans were blown away by the stunning visuals and god-awful storytelling. But one thing everyone agreed was epic was the Duel of the Fates. In this fight, we see Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn and Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi facing off against a Sith. Unlike Vader and Sidious, however, this badass wielded a double-ended saber staff designed for fighting multiple Jedi at once. This was the first time we'd seen a weapon like this in the Star Wars movies, and it was a truly epic moment. This enemy is called Darth Maul, and while undoubtedly skilled, even managing to kill Qui-Gon, he's ultimately felled by Obi-Wan and sent falling into the Abyss. Needless to say, fighting two Jedi at once is no easy task, but with the release of Blade and Sorcery, it is at least possible. Using the Outer Rim mod, we can add lightsabers and enemies that wield them into the game. A couple of other mods also allow us to spawn in Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. Lastly, we're able to take on the visage of the Sith Assassin himself to complete the look. Of course, aesthetics aren't everything. As any Blade and Sorcery fan can tell you, sword combat isn't hard once you get used to it, so this wouldn't normally be much of a challenge. In order to make it authentic, we're going to need a few realistic handicaps. First, while self-collision is disabled by default, we've re-enabled it so that being too wild with our weapon hurts us. Next, we cut our own health down to around 50% to make sure we can't take too many hits. We also crank the enemy health up enough to make them a challenge, though amputating still kills instantly. Finally, we can only use Darth Maul's Saber Staff and only in its dual saber form. This is actually super dangerous as it means I'm more likely to kill myself than my enemies. So now that we have the challenge, we just need the map and where better to go than Duel of the Fates. Originally, I intended to go through the entirety of the map like in the movie. Small problem, the Jedi are stupid, and keep falling off of the catwalks. This means we have to start in the laser hallway and back up to the pit. This is where the battle will take place, and where we'll see if I can actually fight worth a damn. For copyright reasons, I can't include the Duel of the Fates music, so I'll be overlaying it with some other soundtrack instead. What you're about to see is my unedited battle against the Master and Padawan that helped to forge the destiny of the Force. Alright lads, let's do this. Duel of the Fates. Just the three of us, battling it out for the fate of the universe. Alright, so, I've actually tried to- Whoa, Tried to do this battle a couple of times. And I found a couple of problems. First, if I amputate their limbs, they die too quickly. Because they die instantly if you have to take them. Second, I seem to kill them in very strange ways. So basically, I'm just trying to kill them in a way that doesn't make me feel like I've cheated. Because I have a sense of honor, lads. Whoa, I say as I stab Qui-Gon right through the chest. In the movie, that would have been over. Whoops. Accidentally force grabbed him instead of my lightsaber. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's do this. Fucking Qui Gon! I got him! Qui Gon's dead! That's right. And you know what? I'm not making a mistake. The Darth Maul made in the movies. I got rid of his lightsaber first. Now he got no backup. I accidentally summoned the back. Doesn't matter. It's me and you. Let's go. What? Ho ho! <laughs> Come on. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Oh yeah! Me and you! Ha. We did it! Victory! We beat that son of a bitch! Now, now we can do what he did to us. We can cast him into the abyss. <laughs> and just like that, the fate of the Force was forever changed. The universe altered beyond compare. I think we learned a lot today about friendship, about humanity, about how I'm probably too evil to be given unlimited power and I'll almost certainly use it to conquer the planet and enslave you all. 
I doubt there'll be any survivors after the war. The men will be butchered. The children will be enslaved. The women. Well, the women will be fine, you know. We're in, we're in a woke culture, I can't do anything to the women. But the men! Those men! Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, no, I'm not an emperor, so I don't think you need to worry about that. Or do you? The British are coming. <laughs> oh. oh god. Mom!